Welcome back to another episode on my channel. This is another episode in the Road to Pro series. I'm just heading to the gym now. It's currently 5.55 a.m. Gym opens at 6 a.m. So I'm about a minute away on the bike. We're gonna be getting a lower body explosive power session in. Nothing heavy weights, just light explosive movements so that will increase our speed, power, and it's actually helping us improve on the football pitch as well. I'm gonna head into the gym now, get a few clips. I'll see you guys in there when we're getting warmed up and ready to go. First series is the A series of this workout, which is a hex bar squat jump. This hex bar was actually 35 kg, which is why I only had five kg on each side. You wanna try to be explosive up and make sure you're resting at the bottom for about one to two seconds, then explode up. So quick explosion and don't go heavy on the weights, just try go light and then explode out. For this, you're gonna be wanting to do four sets of six reps. What this is, is a single leg back elevated lunge with your front foot on a plate. What you need to do is do a small hop, as you can see me do there, and then you go into the lunge. What you're doing there is getting your ankle stability, slowing down your deceleration on that lunge, and it's great exercise. This is paired in a super set with band assisted jumps. I did four sets of eight reps on the lunge and then four sets of 12 to 15 reps on the band assisted jumps. As a star among the midnight sky All the pressure blinded me But now I see I'm not different from the rest You said I'd fly away Next exercise is this sprinter hip flexor movement where you have a kettlebell on your foot. So where you have a kettlebell on your foot that's driving up. You're also standing on two plates so that you're able to get that full extension of the leg. What you're trying to do is just get the strengthening of the hip flexor, which is why I have a kettlebell on my foot weighing the hip flexor down. I did four sets of 10 reps each leg. in the sky gazing far into the night i raise my hand to the fire but it's no use because you can't stop it from shining through last superset of this workout is reverse nordic curls you've all seen these before four sets of five to six reps i've got a plate because it's harder then and then i went in and superset of this with med ball slams i did 12 medal slams of three sets. Really good session, wrapped up, tough. Doesn't look it, but it was a tough session. I'm gonna head home now, get something to eat quickly, then head off out to training with my brother. made up my protein shake now, I'm gonna put a little bit of granola and some raisins on top and mix it through. And then you get like little bits you can buy it on as well throughout the protein shake. In this protein shake here, 
I've got milk, banana, blueberries, honey, bit of cinnamon powder, and then my protein powder, which was Huel with a chocolate fudge flavor. So this is a delicious protein shake mixed with some raisins and muesli. And Currently around 8.15, and I thought I was gonna go training at around eight, but my brother said nine. So we're gonna be going training at 9 a.m., which is around 45 minutes. I might grab some breakfast, probably some porridge, fill me up before I go training, give me some extra fuel, and then we'll head out to the pitch. Topping off the porridge with some raisins on top, and then I'll just add a little bit of honey. start off and get the legs moving we just did this passing drill you've seen it in my last episode and the one before i think where you just receive it through the cones take a touch out and play it through you can even receive it on the outside of the cone as i'm doing now and take it into and then play it back through just basically getting your legs moving getting still in the warm-up part of the session Following on that passing drill, just to get warmed up, would get the legs moving and everything, I then did this five cone, just dribbling drill. Did it for around 15 seconds with my left foot, just dribbling through any cone I wanted. So then you'd then move on to your right foot, 15, 20 seconds, and then you'd move on to both feet, 15, 20 seconds, going through the cones. I did this about three times, then we moved on to the next drill. just really simple is I would play it into the man who's checking off the cones and while he's checking across I would just do a little movement as you can see me do there and then play it into him he'd dance it across get back across and then play it back to me To the night, I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through, it's true. After that passing, checking off drill, we then went into some 1v1s. These are just great because basically the game is made up of 1v1 situations and 1v1s is everything everyone needs to get better at. Even if you're the best 1v1 person in the world, you can still get better at it. 
What we did to start out for this 1v1 drill is you would both start between your cones and one player would pass the ball into the other and they would drive at you. So we'd do that for about 12 balls, then we'd go again and the other player would start. Then we'd also do on the last set is alternate. So I would go, then my partner would go, then I would go and then my partner would go. did is the same thing pretty much just a 1v1 drill again but a wider and longer pitch so that if you beat your man you've got to get quick to the goal and the defender also has an opportunity to win back the ball Once we finished up the 1v1s, one we then did three sets of 12 balls each. So we do this side and then we go to the other side. We do three sets either side. So this side of the pitch, we did three sets. This is basically you're checking back off the cone, receiving the ball on your back foot or even your front foot if you want. And then you've got two gates. Number one is the close gate and number two is the far gate. Your partner will call the number of the gate as you're about to receive the ball. You've got to get your head up and then play it through that gate. Just wrapping up the session now, gonna head home. I didn't film uh, the end part of that drill and the fitness session because it's just raining and it's horrible weather. So gonna head home now and get something to eat, get showered. I'm out of the shower now, I'm gonna cook up some lunch. Got some cauliflower, broccoli, rice, chicken. Just gonna cook up some easy chicken and rice. Teriyaki sauce, a bit of sweet chili as well on top. And then I've got some hummus, roasted vegetables, and a bit of couscous to have on the side that was just in the fridge if I want as well. Stuff all my chicken, got my veg all sliced up, rice there, and some leftover rice. So I'll probably put a pack and a little bit more in the pan because i'm cooking for me and my brother so i'll do this and my veg all in the pan then i'll add the rice at the end with a bit of sauce on top adding in my chicken we'll cook this through now and then we'll add in the veg once it's about halfway cooked through halfway cooked through we'll add in the veg now so we'll just go in with this all of that 
pretty much cooked through. I'm gonna add in my rice there, a little bit, and then the rest of this in here. Add in some teriyaki sauce on top. Just a little bit. This is the finished product. Just got my chicken rice, hummus. I've uh, got some couscous there that I can have on the side as well. Bit of sweet chili as well, and that's gonna be my lunch. Now that I've had that delicious lunch full of high carb, high protein, I'm just gonna do some work on my laptop, then a bit of yoga stretching, before I go out for my second session, football session of the day. I'm gonna get on with this work for about two hours, about hour and a half, and then head off to the pitch. Well, I've done some of my work, I'm just gonna jump down the floor now, which I'm already on, and do some stretching for about 25, 20 minutes. Then I'm gonna head out for the second football session of the day. I would never wait for something to let it go to waste with everything at stake. Mm. I thought I would take it all back. I just wanna make this thing last, but we're running out of leave to go to the pitch i'm not going to film a lot of the session because obviously i got a lot of clips from this morning at the astros so just going to be doing probably an hour of fitness and then ball work after the fitness film a little bit when i'm there but not the whole session <laughs> finished up the fitness oh my that was a killer we just did two fitness sessions like as in you normally do one we did two back to back so absolutely dead just resting for like four or five minutes and then we're gonna go into some ball work not gonna be obviously doing a full session ball work but i'm gonna do a little bit get some extras in and then we'll head home get some dinner for this drill was basically you have four different cones set out in a box and the person who's passing the ball to the player in the box shouts a color then the player in the box moves to that color, gets back to the middle, then they receive the ball, the player shouts another color, and they have to take the ball around that cone. As you can see, I would have shouted blue there, he takes it around and then plays it back to me. Absolutely killer sesh. I didn't manage to film all of it because it started raining down, so I just stopped put my camera away. I got the little first drill we did. Second and third drive wasn't able to film, but it's what it is. Just about to jump in the bar and relax. I'll show you guys my dinner in a minute once I'm out the bar. Eating up my dinner now, so what I have is a roast dinner, so I've got some pork here, a bit of veg and some potatoes and i'll add some gravy on top and that'll be my dinner pretty much guys i've just had dinner and it was absolutely delicious i'm just finishing off this video now I'm gonna go on my normal tech relax because i'm absolutely shattered from today i'm dead I'm gonna see you guys in the next video make sure you, if you liked this video let me know in the comments because i really appreciate all your comments i reply to each one of you Make sure you like the video as well. Share it with your friends so that they can see what I'm doing and they can learn something hopefully off of me as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this day in your life.